Okay, everybody, it's time for another weekly wrap. Uh, I hope this week was profitable for you. Last week's analysis uh, worked out to be dead-on accurate. Uh, so let's go ahead and recap that, and then uh, we'll get into uh, some of the nitty-gritty here. Remember, this was a 2004 high. Uh, that's going to pose some support, which I figured it would, and it just so happened that it did. Then right here in the middle, uh, I was looking at this area as posing some resistance based on what was going on on the daily. Uh, and you can see that the market has traded in between those levels uh, with some overlap. But let, So let's go in and look at the daily and take a look at how the week actually traded. Here's Monday. Uh, you can see that the market on Monday actually traded down, tapped the uh, support line we were looking for. Uh, the market immediately came up to the uh, resistance, first resistance point and then traded right back down to the support point and, of course, is now trading significantly higher. Uh, if you remember, this uh, resistance level here was keying in. Here's the areas that I was looking for. Uh, there's just obviously some resistance. Uh, this was a resistance zone for the marketplace, and the market, in fact, has actually come all the way back up to these highs as well, uh, which is very common and also, by the way, why I like thinking in, uh, of resistance in ter and support in terms of zones. Uh, and here's what I mean. You can see, let's just go ahead and draw some lines across the chart one there. Do this very quickly. I'll draw this one backwards. There we go. So you can see that the markets uh, actually stopped dead in this area several times, giving us a zone for resistance. Now, why can I? How can I use a zone when everybody else is talking about, you know, Fibonacci points and uh, pivot points? Well, it's because the market very rarely will stop right on a dime on a number that you pick out, uh, in, mo in some cases, of thin air. Uh, it's just, it usually doesn't happen. The market goes up on enthusiasm. Uh, there's all sorts of things going on. Breakout traders are coming in. People are getting stopped out. People are entering. There's just, you know, the market is a fluid place. Uh, so you, you, what you'll find, if you really investigate this, is that the whole zone concept, and I go over this uh, in all of my home study material, this zone concept, generally speaking, will hold, hold true more often than will just trading on a point. So when the market gets down to this, or gets up to this zone, I'm looking for uh, signs of selling. Uh, when the market gets into this zone, I'm looking for signs of buying. It's just that simple. And simply, it, it plays in on the patterns that happen on the marketplace. So let's go down to the hourly uh, and take a look at what happened this week. Uh, you can see here's Monday. The market opens up, trades up a bit, boom, comes right back down, hits our uh, support point. There's a very pretty tunnel pattern uh, which came about po uh, pegging the market right there on support. And the market starts to lift off. And then there are various signals uh, which the market gave us in this area, breaking above this high, breaking above this high, all of which is pointing to the market moving up. We also had the market trading into a pennant pattern right here, uh, also very easily, easily tradable. So at the very least, you've got one, two, three signals uh, that are easily tradable, uh, or I should say easily, easily identifiable, giving us the opportunity to trade to the upside. On the way down, Here's a gorgeous flag pattern which came out, market spat out. Uh, this was just, it just so happened that this was early enough that I missed it. I, I'm just not awake 24 hours a day. I haven't quite figured out how to do that. Here's another uh, flag pattern on the other side. This one came in a, a little bit more reasonable hour, giving uh, some opportunity to get into the market and play this to the upside here. So there were a couple of very good signals, even for a very conservative trader looking for uh, a continuation trade. Uh, let's take a look now uh, at some possibilities for the upcoming week. You can see that uh, support and resistance has expanded a little bit. So um, here, uh, this 94, 95 level is, is going to be some support. Remember, I'm looking at the spike low from a couple of weeks ago. That would be down here to also add to some support. So I'm looking for now 94, 95. And, and let's just, to, to give you a, a real easy way uh, to gauge some of these planning points.